I'm a senior researcher at Wolfram Research. Um, I've been here just over two and a half years. So I've been involved with uh, Wolfram Alpha almost from the beginning. I started on the project uh, working on the computable data initiative. Through working on these functions for version six of Mathematica, it built a solid core of this computable data functionality upon which we then built um, for Wolfram Alpha. We um, started out covering um, you know, physics and chemistry and some political science, geography, some finance. And then we just broadened to um, all sorts of other areas like uh, nutrition and medicine and um, bio, bio uh, chemistry and biomedicine. So I, I, I work on the design of um, these data functions and how they get utilized within Wolfram Alpha. So, I mean, for example, let's take um, food data. So you wouldn't think it was as complicated as, as it actually is, but, you know, if someone comes to the site and they type calories in milk, you know, we give you an instant answer by basically looking at all the different kinds of milk and giving you statistics, giving you a mean value and showing you sort of the range. It's a challenge in terms of the development side to make that happen and, and so I've enjoyed um, you know working on on coding that to make it happen. You know as a developer uh, all the developers working on it we we know what a daunting task we're faced with but it is amazing how far we have come and I, I, th I really do think that we're at the beginning of 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 this it's this amazing resource where um, we bring together you know real world data in some cases uh, real time data um, you know down to the to the second real world data formulas the natural language recognition bringing all those pieces together into one unified integrated site that's free to use my role in Wolfram Alpha is that I do a lot of searching for data sources and evaluating data sources, as well as doing whatever scraping and cleaning up of the data needs to be done before it's ready to be put into Wolfram Alpha's vast data handling system. My, my background's in library science. What we are doing here is very much a library science thing where we're gathering, organizing, and presenting information Ultimately, Wolfram Alpha will be one of the most comprehensive reference sources available. A subject coverage that is broader than any reference source out there. Um, we have made several trips to reference libraries, especially the University of Illinois reference library, which is monstrous, and gone through the whole collection and, and figured out what areas we've covered and what areas we still have to cover. And we were pleasantly surprised at, at how much we have already covered. And so um, we're working our way to there. I kind of have, I have several friends who are reference librarians in public and academic settings and um, kind of excited about getting them to be able to use Wolfram Alpha at the reference desk to answer their day-to-day -day questions. I have often described Wolfram Alpha to friends who are asking about it, especially librarian friends as it's kind of a, it's, it's like a huge electronic almanac with a really big scientific calculator strapped onto it. And almanacs really don't stop. They just keep going year after year after year. You have to make another iteration of it and keep adding to it and keep it up to date. And um, Wolfram Alpha is going to be like that. Only the great joy is that we are not restricted by um, printing costs or just the physical realities of the printed book where we, you know, where we, um, the folks at Information Please can't put out an almanac that is this thick. Um, we pretty much already have an almanac that is this thick and it's going to grow and grow and grow and grow. And that's pretty exciting.